don't think I'm breaking any news here to say that unless you buy these every year, you probably don't care. I mean, come on, another sports game? Yeah, more like another roster update, right? Another new feature you don't even notice. Another 60 bucks, another identical sports game. But the thing about that is th this one's a baseball game. And what you fail to understand in your joyless myopia is that baseball is the key to life. The Rosetta Stone, if you will. I mean, if you just understood baseball better, all your other questions, they'd, they would all, in their way, be answered by the baseball gods. All right, that was a quote from the X-Files. Arthur Dales. It's MLB 15 for the PlayStation 3. But you know what? Arthur Dales was right. No, not that Arthur Dales. Arthur Dales was his brother. I mean, for centuries, people have they've searched for the meaning of things, like how the universe works, what's the order of it all, what's our purpose. But it's all been right in front of us the whole time. It's baseball. Baseball is the answer to every question that matters. It's the universe, just on a smaller scale, where the difference of an inch in the trajectory of an asteroid can mean the difference between life and extinction I mean, that's also the difference between a strike and a ball, a catch and a double, a win and a loss. I mean, it's chaotic and it's, it's unpredictable, but it also operates within a natural set of laws, just like the universe. It's just that baseball condenses them into these, these beautiful, sun-drenched, nacho-filled things called innings. To see baseball is to see science and to see the universe just on a field and with peanuts and Cracker Jack. From the belt, kicks and deals. Hit hard to short. And a backhanded try into the hole at short, but this gets on by. Around third and being waved on home. And the run will score as the Giants take themselves to an early 1-0 lead. But baseball isn't just great because of the science. That would be boring. It's also the romance, the tradition, the idea that whether it's 2015 or 1915, or even 1876, baseball's the constant. Whether the fans in the crowd were wearing bow ties and top hats or ball caps and t-shirts, what, what, what they saw down on the field was always the same. Times may change, but the game doesn't really. Baseball remains the same. And of all the magical, romantic things that we've said about baseball here today, for some reason, that's the one that Sony took to heart. Baseball remains the same, and so does the show. Listen, I'm, I'm sure it's a different story if these games are part of your baseball tradition, and if you play them so much, the disc wears out. But for me, like, honestly, the show remains the same. Here it comes. Inside, as he might be trying to set him up here, one and two. Let, let me tell you about the new upgrades that are being touted for this year's game. And I'm not making any of this up. They've added... Seasonal Sun and Shadows, which sounds like something you'd make up to make fun of video games, but I'm not. It's actually very true. There's also real licensed equipment, because having ads in video games is apparently an improvement, as well as directional hitting. Like, hey, you can aim your hits, you know, like you did in RBI Baseball in 1992. And I mean, there's more stuff I could tell you, and I could hype them up and act like it's really important, but the thing is, if I didn't tell you, you wouldn't even notice them. Like, these games have become so focused on just making refinements, they've almost become obsessed, and again, if you play them a lot, you might notice, you might, but 9 out of 10 people who pick this up and don't know any better, they couldn't tell you if this was MLB 15, 14, 13, because the show remains the same. Now, if all this sounds like a bad thing, well, that's because it is, but only to an extent. See, the thing is, being the same game every year means the show is the same great game every year. Like, the core game here is just, it's outstanding. It's just a fantastic game of realistic, sim-style baseball. And the game's mechanics, I mean, at this point, they're close to flawless. And I've especially loved the addition of casual controls. You make that choice when you start the game. And if you choose casual controls, it basically streamlines the show into what is essentially a modern-looking version of your favorite NES baseball game. It strips away all the complexities, which are needless in my opinion. It just turns it into something more accessible, something faster and more fun. Just press a button to swing, pull a direction to, to pull, or hit away too. I mean, it's just great. And pitching, which has always been my favorite element in these games, 
is actually even better this year. And this is one change that actually is kind of noticeable. See, this year, you actually see the trajectory and break of the pitch you're about to throw. That is, the pitch you're about to throw if you throw it well. It's awesome. Right? It's, it's so much fun to carve up the zone, try to paint those corners. In 1876, they, they painted with whitewash. Here's the first offering. And here's a called strike to the 36-year-old veteran. It's nothing in one. Now, of course, if you showed MLB 15 to people in 1876, they'd probably sh themselves. The graphics and the sound are just that fantastic. They would fool people from centuries ago, even on the PS3 version, which didn't get some of those fancy graphics updates. Like real-time shadows. Oh, no. How am I to enjoy video games without real-time shadows? What is this? 1876. There are also infinite skin tones because of a new color matching technology. Look, you, you can't make this stuff up. But the game does look amazing, uh, and there are some additions that aren't as make fun of worthy. Like the game picks up where you left off in the previous game. So if you had a career mode, for example, in MLB 14, MLB 15 actually loads the save from MLB 14. So you can keep on keeping on, keep on disappointing those scouts, and that's awesome. At least you're consistent. This game claims to have more new features and updates than any version of the show ever. Like, there, there's more than 70 new situational animations for the third out of an inning. I mean, that, that's the kind of detail we're talking about here. And look, I'll level with you. If you ask me, a lot of that is just, it's a pointless detail. I mean, who cares? L listen, RBI Baseball had, they had like two animations in the whole game, and that game was the best. So obviously I'm not going to sit here and list those new features. I'm not going to I'm not going to do that. If you care about that, you're already getting this, so what's the difference? Actually, there, there's very little difference between this year's game and last year's. But that's the order of these things, and that's that's how this universe works. Whether it's Madden or the show or whatever annual sports game, look, you know exactly what you're getting. And for fans, you know, maybe there's comfort in that. I mean, we could sit here and make fun of it, but like as a baseball fan, for me, every summer it's it's the same seats, the same usher, the same hot dog, same sights, same smells, same sounds. And I guess if those things are all the same and are all part of what makes baseball so great because they're always the same, well, why isn't this? It's MLB 15, the show. The next pitch. Swung on and taken the opposite way out toward deep left center. And he's going to kick off the second with extra bases. And he will pull in here with a leadoff double. 